This video is brought to you by Gamefly, which lets you rent video games online and basically play them as long as you want. And when you're done, you send it back and you get another one. They've got titles for Xbox, PlayStation, Wii U, uh, Nintendo Switch, you name it. So if you want to save some money, you like to play games, click the link down below. You'll help out me and you'll help out yourself. In the meantime, on to the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're tackling one of the most difficult things that any creative person has to face. Critics. They're not all bad. How do you handle negative criticism, though? Strap on your emotional armor, because it's time to face the enemy. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Whether positive or negative, criticism can be nerve-wracking, to say the least, for even seasoned pros. If it's negative, criticism can crush the fire that drives you and make you question why you even bother. And if it's positive, it could possibly lead to imposter syndrome, which I did another video on over here. So what do you do? First, let's take a look at where critics came from. In ancient Greece, those that judged people were called Crenean, which later became Criticos, before Latin turned it into Criticus. Eventually, the English changed it to Critic in the late 16th century, uh, probably used when judging the theater. With this in mind, it's important to note the difference between constructive criticism and just plain meanness. A recent peer-reviewed article on Greatest.com gives three ways to tell if someone is actually trying to help you with their criticism. Number one, it's compassionate. People should give criticism in a way that indicates care for the recipient, and it should come from someone the recipient respects. Number two, it's specific. Criticism should target the appropriate elements of the recipient's performance and offer specific guidance for improvement. Number three, it's a match. Criticism should align with the recipient's emotions and motivation. It's no secret that being a musician, especially in Las Vegas, means developing a thick skin to negative people and their comments. Be careful, however, that you don't shut out feedback that can really help you move to that next level. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that it was somewhat informative. How do you handle negative criticism? Leave a comment down below so that everybody else can uh, hopefully deal with it in a, in a better way. In the meantime, if you want to support this channel, I'd appreciate it and it'll help me make better videos. Click a link down in the description for my Patreon page or maybe buy one of my CDs. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. Remember to be amazing. And if you want to see more videos like this, click here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please click here and don't forget to ring the bell. Have a great day. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time in room six.